All right, looks like it's going to be another beautiful day here in Oklahoma. Yesterday was about 75 degrees, and they're saying the same thing today, high of 73. And then on Sunday, they said it's supposed to snow. Go figure, right? All right, so today I want to show you something I just got done working on. It is my little Jerry do-it-yourself Bluetooth ammo can speaker. And this is my YouTube channel right here. Originally made this in March of 2019. Got over 10,000 views on that. And through the years, I've built bigger and better and learned from previous builds. And I, this big one here is 440 watts. I have this one in the bedroom. <laughs> it's just, I call it Bob Barker. I mean, the thing has got a 10-inch sub, dual voice coil, rocking and rolling with that. But I want to show you what I did to the little one this morning. You know, with all the le lessons learned from builds, kind of incorporated some of the goodies that I've learned into my original build, Jerry. It's the first one I built, right there. But first... <laughs> Gotta have fun, right? So let's go over here to the workbench, and I'll show you what is going on. As you can see some of my other builds here. This is Super Jerry 2. It's an 8 inch. I call it the Beast in Verstaka. Beast amplifier in German. This is my most recent build. Master Blaster. And this one, let me turn the volume down here. Um, this one has a it's about 70 watts RMS times 2 digital chip amplifier not this one right here it's its big brother it's rated like 160 watts per channel total nonsense good for about 70 right and on this build had volume control on there which is very really nice to have when you have aux input in there now with bluetooth it doesn't matter you just use your phone and it controls the volume with your volume on the phone so let's move over here to my original build, Jerry. And what I did, as you might be able to see right here, is I put a volume control knob where that LED light was. And this volume control is made by Universal. It's a punch level control for like subs and stuff. And they're pricey. And it comes with a lot of extra stuff in there, but I just used the one volume controller that came with it and this is the knob for the little potentiometer, which is kind of cheesy. Um, but these are like 40 bucks. You know, I only use like half of it. I wish they'd make, you know, where you can just buy separates. So I replaced the knob that came with this universal punch with one off of an old amplifier right here. Works really good. Just had to drill a hole right here. And then while I was inside this can, I decided I'd put some, instead of 3.5 millimeter, I put some right and left aux inputs on this. You know, the RCA right here. Like that. I still have to glue those on the inside. They screw in, but there's a little bit, they're a little bit loose right here, see there? So I'm gonna just kind of shoe goo them in. This stuff is like rock hard. Works really good. And those RCA pass-throughs are these guys right here. They're called Kennebol RCA Phono Panel and Chassis Mount Socket Audio Red and White Yellow blah blah blah. But uh, they work pretty good. They're pretty good. This one has the Knob Sound HF 15G Pro. These are rated like 100 watts per channel. Honestly, good for probably about 40 watts RMS times two. Uh, and that's if you step it up to 24 volts, which I do on these can builds. And if you just use battery power 12 volt input, you're not gonna get full power. So what I do is I use a step-up booster, give the 24 volts from battery power. Now let's take a look on the inside. 
Everybody likes seeing the guts. I like seeing the guts of the stuff in here. And I've done so many videos on these. You can just you know peruse through my Chris DIYer YouTube channel. But essentially this thing is tuned at about 30 hertz with this porting. Got some resistors for the tweeters. It's stereo because this is a dual voice coil woofer right and left and step up boosters right there see it that goes from 12 to 24 volts to power the amplifier and if you want to turn the whole kit and caboodle right off just turn it off right there okay. now with the grills you may be saying well this one doesn't have a grill it's the same six and a half inch scar audio woofer because this is a lower power amplifier, the excursion on the woofer, it's it's very underpowered amplifier for this style subwoofer. So I can get away with using a grill right against the speaker there because the articulation isn't that much. Now with this guy here, Master Blaster, running probably 70 to 75 watts per channel, man, I think wah 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 wah. I couldn't use this DS18 grill on here because it's smacking all day and I ended up replacing the top of this lid um, cut out a little thing right here to help you know a little bit of protection and it just barely clears I had to do a little bending and force fitting in there but <laughs> this thing um, with the additional power of this through the six and a half inch which is the same same speakers tweeters and woofer in here the additional power it just makes all the difference in the world clean clean um, up to about 50 60 watts per channel RMS but that thing is wah, 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 moving really good so there you have it that's what I've been up to aside from buying new trucks and if you want to see a video on that I will uh, I will get onto it a little rubber ducky antenna on there so Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.